Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 298. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me, we, joining me today is Wills. Hello, Norman. Hello. You okay, man? Oh, I'm perfectly fine. You know, just gotta clear the throat, make everything feel good. <laughs> Alrighty then, alrighty then. Uh, glad to have you on, man. Nice to be back as well. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's let's just hop in because what happened with your week is going to be at the end. So let's just hop in. So in today's news, you've seen the movie, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen the movie. Uh, I assume we're talking about the MLP movie, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Yep. Okay. You already mentioned that you've seen the movie, so that's good. So the question is, did you bought it on Blu-ray and DVD? Or would you buy it twice? Technically, there's a combo pack where you can buy both of them. Oh, what? Is there also an option to have it on VCR, too? I wish. That would be fun. Can I, can, I, can, can I get the My Little Pony movie and high definition on Betamax? I heard it was good back in the days. How about one of those gigantic LDs? CDI discs? With GDI? No, CDI. Uh, CDI. CDI. They're like, they're like, think CDs, only they're the size of like uh, serving dinner plates. Wait, you're talking about LDs, laser disc. Yeah, laser discs. Oh, I heard they were better in uh, uh, what you call this quality in pictures back in the days. They were huge, though. Yeah, I know. I had an uncle who had it. This was fun. My Little Pony now on laser disc. Damn right. <laughs> but still, uh, no, I'm, I'm guessing no then. So I assume the reason you're asking me is because, well, the movie is now out on DVD and Blu-ray, like you said. So now if I haven't, I now have the option to see it yes. with all the extra, assume, assume, I'm assuming there's bonus content. Unless they're considering bonus content to be subtitles and <laughs> English menus. <laughs> that will be awesome. Uh, but you know what? I'm trying to look for it here and I don't see what are the special contents. But yes, the My Little Pony movie is out on DVD slash Blu-ray and you can get it on Amazon right now. Um, as for the special content list, um, where do you even find it here? You know what? Hmm. I'm going to try and search it on the Googles. Oh, I don't even want to bother to try to look up what the sexual features are. All they're going to try and do is Amazon. Buy Amazon Prime. Get it now. You want to see what this thing is? Well, you better buy Amazon Prime. Isn't Prime good? I don't know. All I know is it's expensive. And they're constantly pestering me to get it. Uh, uh... If I needed something like that, I would just go to my parents who want some dang grandchildren. <laughs> oh, gosh. But anywho, uh, here are the Blu-ray and DVD digital special features. Deleted scenes, Equestria Girls Short, Baking with Pinkie Pie features, Making Magic with the Main Six and Their New Friends, Journey Beyond Equestria, I'm the Friend You Need music video sung by Tay Diggs, and Hanazuki Fool of Treasure. So that's the thing that played in most theaters before the movie happened. So yeah, those are the special features. Ah uh, yes, the ch the diabetic, the diabetic pre ch uh, pre early childhood uh, cartoon. Hey, it was like, ah, hey, oh, hey. oh, this bad. exists. Eh, too many reminders of of uh, Generation Three is what I got out of really? that short. You got that fluff. Huh, I didn't. Like I saw it was pretty cool. But that was the movie version, so eh. But um hmm. Making magic with the main six and friends. It's like, yeah, I can make magic with my friends. It's called uh Saturday nights with a six pack and a open console. <laughs> oh, that's your magic? Well, I was thinking about Friday night. You and your friend go to the local card game shop and play draft. Buy a tree pack uh, and then like go drafting. No, no, I, I, I don't. I, do I look like I'm rich enough to afford playing Magic: The Gathering? <laughs> okay, okay. If you're not into that kind of magic, probably some D and D. You can be a wizard. <laughs> oh come on! What do I look like? A nerd? <laughs> yeah. Do you want me it's to fine. answer? I I I, I, deign, I deign not to answer this inquisition. 
So you know what? I'm just going to change the subject and have us move on to our next topic. <laughs> yeah, talking about fluff. Which, of course, is all about things that are not nerdy in the least. Mm, no, They're totally. plushies. Yep. <laughs> yes, yes, totally. Ah, yes. And it seems like the Japanese have come out with the pony plush once again. And they're really awesome looking. Really, really awesome. I think the company is called Company. <laughs> it's, uh, it starts with a K-C-O-M-P-A-N-Y. So it's Company. K-Company. Yeah, K-Company. <laughs> I think it's uh, called K-Company. K-Company, eh? There's no dash, so it's like very... But anywho, they are releasing pony plushes and their chibi size and they're all cute looking and stuff. So that's awesome. And what's even cooler is that the chibi Applejack, they do not skimp on the hat. Yes. She has a hat. Yeah, she has a hat. <laughs> Finally. And Twyla has wings too. So yay, that's cute too. Yeah, they're adorable little, yep. cute little, I mean, they're basically they're, they're chibis. They're chibi little plushes. They're adorable. Yep. And if you want something more than chibi little plushies to put on the table, they have the quote-unquote bag tags and whatnot because there's a keychain and a removable hook. I, I don't know what you call that one. But still, it's there too. Unfortunately, though, it is currently Japan only. Ah. So the, the store is only allowed to purchase in the country of Japan. They do not ship internationally. Oh, so yeah. you're going to have to wait until they find an international distributor if you're outside of that. Or mm -hmm. find a friend you know who lives in Japan and pay them to do it for you. Uh, Usually that. through the nose. <laughs> true that. So in other so in other words, get on the message boards and find yourself a Japanese person to befriend. <laughs> oh, wait, what am I talking about? None of you have any friends. Hey, that's mean. We all have friends somehow. Norman, we're not even friends. <gasps> I'm so hurt. <laughs> You knew what this relationship was. I, you were using me all along for my great voice talent and my gar dashing good looks. I know I'm nothing more than your eye candy. <laughs> how could I? Be, how, how could you be my eye candy if I don't even see you? I don't know. It's been a very confusing relationship. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, but uh, by the looks of it, you can buy a Raku 10. Um, other than that, I got no idea if the, yeah, like you mentioned before, Wills, um, they don't ship internationally, but I do believe you can buy through someone. Uh, let's see if, uh, Ami, Ami, let's see if they have it there because Ami, Ami, Ami is a Japanese hobby store. And the search result is going to be... I'm going to say... Oh, you know what? No, it's not zero. They do have something. Dang. Huh. Hey, they even have the uh, Queen Chrysalis figure. And even the one that is from... What you going call this? Uh, fun, fun, fun. No, no. Um, What is fun that? Funko Pop? No, not Funko Pop. The one where the shirt... Ma, the, the shirt store thingy. Give me a second. Mighty Fine. Wheel of Fine, yes. Ah, oh, they have it there, but I don't think they have the one that we're talking about here. Yeah, let me drop a link to you, man. Take a look-see. They do have it. Even phone casing, too. Huh. Yeah, this looks like a major merch. Yeah, but why would you want to buy this Japanese toys here? Why? Oh, they even have the uh, Caribbean pony things. That's so cool. Mm. You don't see that in the US stores? wonder how much that is. The Caribbean? No, no, I'm. I I don't know the uh, conversion rate of oh. yen to uh, dollar. Give me dollars. Second. I have the converter up. I'll just put in the one hundred yen thing to American dollars. So it's J Japanese yen to U.S. dollars. That would be about uh, zero point nine cents, ninety cents. So that would mean you are winning. Well, well, not so much winning, but more, more so just uh, doing far better. Well, no, 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 no. I, I, no, no one's winning, man. It's more so just like trying to figure out how much these things cost. Like that, like you were saying, that chrysalis figurine, mm -hmm. which um, is currently forty eight sixty uh, JPY, so that's about like uh, thirty forty three dollars American. Which uh, those were the blind bag. Those were the those were part of the 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 um, 
what was it? Fun cool. The no, we no, love no. yeah, we love fine. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was the we love fine boxes where they had multiple figurines, but it was random whichever one you got. So it was like a more expensive blind bag. Yeah, and I got the pricing here. It's thirty four. Let's just say thirty five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, cool. So. Amy, Amy, you might be able to help you if you're looking for your objects, but do they ship internationally is yeah. the question. Uh, Ami Ami does ship internationally. Uh, shipping method. Ami Ami currently offers seven shipping methods. Uh, EMS, DHL, a small package, and so on. Shipping fee is calculated after all items in an order are in stock. Please note that shipping costs in blah, 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 and so on. Uh, so, yeah, PayPal, credit card, Alipay, Union Pay, Cash on Delivery, and so on. They have everything from what I can understand. And let's see, payment and shipping. Mm. Ah, but it seems like some objects, uh, like this Chrysalis figurine I was looking at, uh, are not in stock. Mm-hmm. That's what they only mentioned about... before. Yep, yep, only on back order. That seems to be for a lot of the things here. Some, some are for pre-order, some are for back order. So... You may not get your object immediately if you go with them, though. Mm -hmm. But still, uh, the point is, there's an option there. And in all honesty, you are looking for exclusives here in the Japan store. Like, they have a Pinkie Pie iPhone 10 hard case, which is awesome. And I don't think you can get it in the American store or any American place besides Japan. Because I know Japan has a lot of exclusive when it comes to um, per, per, sorry, memorabilia items like casing and whatnot. Merchandising! Merchandising! The number one way you make the money! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so on and so on. Like even, they have the blind bags and even, I don't know, they even have... Okay, I'm, what I'm looking here is that they really focus on Wheel of Fine. Like they have most of the exclusive that they have on Wheel of Fine. That, that's very interesting. And other than that, like, I don't see any other items that are, stand, that stands out. Besides the Caribbean, um, phone cases and whatnot. Yeah, nothing else stands out, man. But anywho, if you do enjoy buying the pony toys from overseas, I do hope you guys have good luck with that because things are going to get expensive. Indeedy. Especially if you do international <laughs> shipping. So, mow more lawns, shovel those snowy driveways, and um, take that overtime shift for all for the lovable merchandise you love. Yep, yep, or, yep. you know, realize that life isn't inherently meaningless and the objects that we use to fill up the void are nothing more than a pure distraction towards the inevitable abyss that will all consume us. Oh, true that. Oh, also, you could just go Bitcoin mining. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Bitcoin mining, what a joke. Ah, but anywho, <clears throat> let's head on to the next news. And next news is going to be what have we been doing with our week. So, Wills, what have you been doing with your week, man? Uh, Well, aside from doing a new job, which is going quite swimmingly, awesome. I have been focusing on... Mm, art asset creation and video editing. I'm working on a project I hope to release within the week. I'd hoped to actually do something a month ago, but Christmas started rolling around, and then we had New Year's, and then I got the new job, and then it's been a whirlwind of absolute mayhem with that. And so now I've got some free time. Now I've got some... Uh, expected time and now i know my schedules and now i want to just freaking make that video ah good 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 i do hope to see those videos up man well if anything's to go by it it should be within a week well if not well then whatever people are used to disappointment oh my no and i have no one to dis and i have no one to disappoint except myself oh that that, that ain't right <laughs> Uh, but still, is that all, man? Well, aside from all that shindig, I guess the thing that's been occupying my free time in the meantime mostly has been the good old video games. And what is occupying my attention right now is, well, Fallout 4. Oh, I, I saw you play that. It. Yeah, I got that on the cheap. 
when uh when it was on sale i got it for 20 bucks the entire the game of the year edition Ooh. on steam on uh during the christmas thing and i've been able to finally try it and you know i'm glad i got it for what i did because i mean it's a fine game in some regards still got a crap load of bugs <laughs> it's so and long. is definitely not a fallout game Huh? It's got a Fallout skin, but it's more of a first-person shooter than anything. Oh, okay. All in all, yeah, 20 bucks is what I would pay for this experience. Mm. Yeah. So, yep. Waiting for the next gigantic disappointment of whatever the next one's going to be. Monster Hunter. No, no. Monster Hunter is actually made by a development team that knows what its audience wants and <laughs> doesn't you they they actually I, I don't I don't know, James. The engine for Monster Hunter is a lot more reliable than anything Bethesda's put out. Uh James? James playing the game too? Yeah, well, okay, you know what? Um Okay. Norman. Yeah. Gosh. You know what? Uh I'm not gonna live that one down, so uh whatever. You you you, 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 yeah, you're in Spain now. Yeah, <laughs> you you draw you draw comics about a movie pony. That that that's that's who you are now. Oh wow, now I know how you feels. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. If I if I talk to him and say, uh, yeah, whatever you say, Norman, to James, then you know what? It's it's the cycle's complete. Uh, <clears throat> okay. And then I'll just have to say it next time. We're on a next time we're on a review show. You'd be like, uh, I mistake Silver Quill for freaking manga common. <laughs> if it's on, well, oh, well, hey, they're both birds. <coughs> but one's a horse, and one's a lion or tiger, whatever it is back in. Yeah, they're both feathered creatures <laughs> that are delicious in barter sauce. <laughs> uh, all right, then. All right, then. So is that all then? Yeah, that's all that's been occupying my time. How about yourself? What the heck have you been doing? Well, what I have I been doing is that for the past two weeks now, I've been fixing my PC. I mentioned on last episode that I was recording on my old PC, and I'll probably record on a new PC this week. And guess what? I am recording on a new PC this week. <laughs> uh, Yay! So... That explains why we're having so many problems. Uh, not really, but uh, in terms, yes, I'm blaming all the I'm blaming all of our recording problems on your PC. It's the only logical explanation. No, man, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, no, no, okay. But anywho, um, from building it myself and whatnot, uh, this this machine is just much fun. Like putting in the wires, it's like how do I put this? It's like playing Legos, but much more expensive and much more complicated. I don't know, man. Like, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, other than that, like, it's just um, making sure everything's working right, transferring the files from point A to point B, making sure everything works. Um, I think I did a test run on Friday, no, Thursday. On Thursday, just to make sure recording was done right. And glad I did, because if not, everything was going to be haywire and whatnot. And yeah, this PC is just fun. Like it's running on a Ryzen five with a ten sixteen side, and I enjoy it, man. Like playing the Overwatch and the paydays. Not really the paydays. I don't see any difference in payday. But playing the Overwatch is much better right now, especially when I have the Nvidia recording thing. Oh, that much. That, that is much better, man. Like I don't need to dumb down the graphics or whatnot. Like. It's just good. Yeah, uh, I actually also discovered something recently. Mm -hmm. um, a question: Do you play in windowed, windowed borderless, or full screen mode? Hmm. I. It's recommended that you play in full screen. And when I was playing, yeah, on especially with Overwatch, man, mm -hmm. because just yesterday mm -hmm. playing with a friend, and like we we're just discussing, you know, our aggravations with the game. He was talking about graphics. He said, "Oh, uh, I have been I have been playing Overwatch this entire time. I thought it was full screen, but I was playing it in windowed borderless mode. Okay. I switched it to full screen. My accuracy went up like more than half. Do you basically? A, do you have a dual monitor setup? I have a pretty powerful setup. The problem, though, is that even when you're not in full screen, 
there is about a quarter of a second of a lag in input from your mouse to the screen itself. Mm-hmm. The second I switched, <laughs> I have been handicapping myself <laughs> for years <laughs> by not having full screen. You know that scene from Nar- you know that scene from Naruto when Rock Lee takes off the weights. Yep. <laughs> That's kind of like how it was, man. Okay, the, okay. The only reason why I asked if you have a dual monitor setup is the only reason why to have your game in windowed or windowed borderless is so you can move your cursor to the other uh, screen seamlessly. So that's the only reason why. But if no, that would suck. It's like you're trying to sp- you're trying to turn around and it's like okay, quickly turn to the left. No, not the other monitor. Ah! It doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. If you Play in if you're playing in the game, uh, it somehow locks onto one monitor at times. But oh, um, okay, I just find that find that hilarious. You I, switch trust. monitors when you're trying to fight. Oh man, it got me a few times, man. Like you're in the middle of a skirmish, suddenly, like wait, why am I not moving? Oh crap, it's in the other monitor. It's highlighting stuff I don't. We highlight it. Ah. <laughs> Uh, but now um, I just like kind of put it on full screen with low graphics, even though I know the 1060 is able to run it on medium and whatnot. But you you don't really want to push it that far. Like you don't want to push it that high. You just want to you just want more memory, more performance out of your game. Because if you put it on ultra high, it's like okay, everything looks beautiful, but you're still gonna get pwned if you don't play well. Yeah, you still gotta aim. Yes, you still gotta aim. So wait, you mentioned that after setting it in full screen, your accuracy went up by a hundred percent. So, are you still having the same aggravation with the game as before? Oh no, man, you misunderstand. Um, going up, going up, uh, my being twice as accurate is still twice as accurate from zero is still zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, well, no, I mean, uh. It did alleviate half my problems because then it's like, uh, oh, I can actually hit far in the air now as McCree. Oh, I can actually um, aim as a Widowmaker. Oh, I can actually um, duel with people or or, or some other crap. Mm-hmm. It, it's just like there is a world of difference. I mean, people are just like, well, it's only a quarter of a second. It's like, yeah, a quarter of a second can be ages in a in a frenetic, fast paced shooter Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this isn't like i'm playing uh, civilization where i can take my time (laughs) oh yeah a monopoly but still but still i think papa jeff did mention that uh to get the best out of the game you have to play it in full screen yeah so well i've learned my lesson about graphical options (laughs) so learn from my mistake kids don't do what uncle will did and played in windows borderless be sure you have it in full screen uh, and yeah. if you have the graphical capability for it disable vsync that will allow your frame rate to go into absurd levels of like 120 really yeah vsync um it basically forces the frame rate to cap at the refresh rate of your monitor but yeah, but if the game, sorry, if your monitor doesn't even go beyond that, like, what's the difference? You know, that is a damn good question. But the point is, I've noticed a difference in just like me being able to see thing. Um, I don't know. I guess, you know what? I don't know. I just get a feel. Maybe it's a placebo effect. I don't know. All right. But for me, I, I feel like it does better when I. The numbers are higher. It's got to be better, man. Unless <laughs> okay, it's man. ping. Okay, man. Unless it's ping. If the ping's <laughs> higher, that's terrible. High FPS good, <laughs> low ping good. I just set mine to fixed rate of 60. Like, that's my monitor refresh rate. So, yeah, why, why go over? Like, you're not going to get anything beyond that. Like, your monitor it can't even go beyond that. So, why force it? I don't know, man. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, but still, enough of the Overwatch talk. I could go for hours talking about the stuff that I did. Oh, by the way, I just went into silver with 6161. Uh, yay. Where is it? Not 6161. That'll put me in G. No, it's 1616. 1616. Okay, cool. I have not done the preliminaries yet, so I have no idea where I stand. Ah. I'm probably still mid-gold, though. 
Yeah, I saw. No, that was last uh, season's ranking. Yeah, I, I managed to get my goal, which is get into silver. <laughs> so yay! Oh, hey man, that's good. That is that is definitely good. That's that's showing improving. Um, basically, um, from advice I've heard from Silver Yellow is basically uh, know what characters counter other characters. Just you know what what are good to counter and work on your game sense you know positioning mm. moving with the team getting kills when you need to and also voice comp voice comp helps oh yeah yeah being able to just letting your teammates know about information that they can't see letting them know that there is a reaper that's sneaking up behind us from the left top letting them know that there's uh they're they're pocketing a mer- the enemy team is pocketing a mercy letting them know that uh you know Heck, just information. Information that anyone can get is uh, invaluable in a team fight. True, true. Heck, who e- even even who you're concentrating on, who you're going for. Yeah, like if you're going to dive on a mercy, let everybody know, yeah. and then let's see what happened then. Because if you're running a dive comp, which is uh, Winston Genji Tracer, you got to have some good support backing you up. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's all about communication and timing. <laughs> At the great, uh, uh, and even then, even if you have one person who isn't, that mm-hmm. isn't always the death of everything. Um, a good team, a good three man team can actually win a good fight if you know they're able to take out enough of the enemy team. Oh yeah, it's it's a balanced team. Yeah, it's it's all about just working together where you can mm-hmm. and filling. True, 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 true. Like the recent Overwatch competitive thing that happened, what London Spitfire versus the LA something? I, I forgot. That was a good fight, man. On Luna Colony Horizon, that was a good fight. You should take a look at that one, man. Like they pushed five times, and London Spitfire rolled in with a May out of nowhere, and that really. I haven't been something. able to watch any of the Overwatch League yet. Just. I haven't had the time. Uh, I was just watching highlights, man. When oh wow, they did something like, yeah, highlights, man. Just highlights, like any sports show. <laughs> oh man, let's let's get back on to the ponies and stuff because nobody really interested in talk uh, in us talking about Overwatch. We we need to do a dedicated show. Yes, well, I guess in the only subject we can say is season eight's going to be rolling around sooner than we expect. Oh yeah. When would that be? I mean, Got any idea? Oh, what is the due date? Let's see here. In 76 days, we will have season 8. Wait, where did you get it info? Um, that's on Equestria Daily. They have a countdown. Oh, yeah, okay. Estimated. All right, then. Yeah, yeah. An yeah. estimated countdown. Yeah, well, uh, just by considering when all the previous seasons have started up, so, you know. Ah, all right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Still, can't wait, man. Like, season eight is going to be a blast. Is it going to be a blast? I guess so. I hope so. Why? (laughs) Well, if you've paid attention to the leaks, I am excited for it. Oh, yeah. I saw three things. I saw three things of it, and I'm I'm excited. And I won't spoil anything here for our audience. I seen what audience I, I, they've all left because we started talking about Overwatch. True that we um, lost them, Norman. Get the defibrillator. Oh no! But still, I've seen a few things too, and I am very excited for a few. And there, there's a oh wow! I, I, okay, here's the thing. There's a lot of things I would love to talk about the quote unquote season eight spoilers and whatnot. But <clears throat> the show here is not run on spoilers, so you don't talk about spoilers. As Rarity might say, no spoilers. <laughs> she says as she like holds a sewing machine as a battering ram that she'll use. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So anywho, no spoilers, no spoilers. I will talk to you about it after this show, just because I have some things to say. But anywho, if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter, the show's Twitter account, is at the MBS show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Wills, where can the good people at home find you? If you want to find my work, you can find my writings at filmfiction.com slash Willison. If you want to find my art, you can find me on DeviantArt as Willison. And if you want to find 
um, me uh, and the random things I tweet, usually just about people being stupid or really cool art, or people doing really stupid art. But, you know, there's a good combo in there. You can find me on Twitter as well as in. All right, Eden. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can catch us on PonyvilLife.com. Also, please subscribe to our newest endeavor, the NBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll get me, Silver Quill, and also Sapphire Heart Song, and probably Guest of the Week, reviewing the My Little Pony episodes, comics, and also movies. And also some other random stuff that we decide to do. Like my favorite one is to talk about Kung Pao Enter the Fist. I just love talking about that one, man. <laughs> Much fun. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com and coffee.com. With every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurker Cat, Namjigatoria, Starstream, Master of Lag, Amy, Mark, and also Charles. Thank you guys for the also support. Oh, by the way, if you guys do support the show, you guys get a week's advance in the review and discussion podcast. So, like, this week is going to be the, whatchamacallit, um, My Little Pony movie review. But people on the Patreons will get something else. So, yay! Exclusive! Much faster! Yay! So, anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Will. And we'll guys see you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya! Goodbye and have a wonderful day! <laughs>